Ooh. Mm. Gross. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Why? Mm. Good morning, guys. Welcome to Miranda Detailing. It's a dreary morning. Ugh. And we have this gross work truck in for a full exterior detail. It has some overspray on it that we're going to contend with. I'm going to show you how to remove that with a pretty heavy duty clay that we get from Car Supplies Warehouse. So as you saw, it's pretty muddy. It's really gritty. So let's get started with the wash process. As usual, you know the drill. Rinsing, APC rinsing, foaming, contact washing. We'll see if the grit comes off with the clay mitt. If it doesn't, then we'll just hand wash it, pull it into the garage where it's a little warmer and then continue to clay it with the intense clay from Car Supplies Warehouse. Guys, if you're enjoying videos like this, and I hope you are, consider subscribing and clicking that bell so you don't miss stuff. So let's get started. A splash of Turtle Wax Max Power and by splash, I mean I'm just putting it in full strength and uh, I'll put a little bit of water in it. But with this stuff, it's so affordable. I'm going to use it pretty much uh, kind of like a one to one ratio, I guess. I know it seems like a lot, but we need a strong cleaner for this truck because it's pretty gross. And this is not going to damage any rubber or anything like that. It is still a strong cleaner, but gentle enough that it's not going to ruin anything. So don't worry about that. Here's the clay we're going to use. This is the Level 3 Intense. They have new packaging, um, so it comes in nice little cartons now. Uh, but this is a very aggressive clay bar. So what I do is I get hot water from the tap, as hot as I can get it, put the clay in here, softens it up, and this will be much easier to mold as you clay bar the vehicle. Hot water. Dirty truck. Nice, so the APC rinse is going to break down some of that dirt and junk. We'll rinse it in just a bit. Since it's not sunny, we can let it sit here for a couple of minutes. Let it sit for a bit. Let it sit for a bit. So with vinyl lettering like this, of course, with pressure washers, be careful, don't get too close to the lettering. You can within reason. Sorry. Not cool. Not cool. 
Oh, wait, 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 let me see. Disgusting. Oh yeah, that is gross. Much better. Not bad, just the tar is left. Oh, that tar was soft enough, it blasted right off. Look at that. Oh yeah, let's use that. That's the turtle wax one. Yep. Let's use that on the tar. Is there any over here? Not too much. There is a little bit. There's more on the other side, but the tar back there actually blasted off. So you can see the line here. That's awesome. That's the benefit of an APC rinse. What type of APC? Ah, eh, you can use pretty much any type of all-purpose cleaner or degreaser. Meguiar's super degreaser or their all-purpose cleaner. Anything really, super clean, any of that stuff you can use. I dilute uh, those types of APCs one to four, and that's usually strong enough. And it also kind of pre-cleans the tires. Ooh, mud. Did you do the front? No. Oh. It wasn't rinsed. Oh, right. The back. <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. Yeah, so that stuff is a foaming product, so it foams up on all the tar. Not bad. Oh, I didn't do back here yet. Did a good job of the plastic. So, let's see. Oh yeah, it's dissolving it, look at that. Not bad. That's some pretty gnarly tar down there. Still kind of soft. Or this stuff is softening it up. These are clean. Oh, you super clean the front, huh? Yeah, yeah, oh. So, that works very, very well. Look at that. It just dissolves the stuff. I'm gonna rinse the front. Okie dokie.
That did an excellent job. So that tar remover is actually very gentle on your hands. It's not a nasty solvent uh, type of, you know, remover. Of course, it has some sort of solvents in it. But what I mean by that is, you see I'm not wearing gloves. The reason is I can't wear gloves for extended periods of time uh, because I get contact dermatitis. If I get any moisture underneath the glove, I have to remove it and I have to have my hands breathe and dry. So that's why. So constantly rinse your hands. It's fine, don't worry about it. But this tar remover worked extremely well. All the heavy tar is gone and what's left is just chips. This is a work truck. Lots of wear and tear on this thing, so no garage queen at all. But you can see that with the initial rinsing and APC rinsing, already it made a big difference. Uh, the majority of the junk is off the paint, the wheels, the wheel wells, the tires, all of that stuff. So now the contact wash is gonna be very simple, very quick, very easy. The more extensive part is gonna be the clay barring. Yeah, I'm very impressed with that stuff. It's not like, Caustic and it doesn't hurt my hands or anything like that. It's nice. Aha, uh -huh. you use this? Ah, uh, yes, the iron decon. Let's use that after we wash, or should we do it before? before. All right, let's do it before. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, you need dissolving? Yeah, a little bit. Might take some time. Oh, yeah, there we go. This is just grime. Yeah, it's just, I think it's just nasty grime in there. You gonna do the rest of the truck? Okay. Hey. What? Continue. I think we got a lot of the junk off. That sap. Oh yeah. Not as much as I would think though, but yeah, it's there. Sierra's bleeding. Oh yeah. You see any on the sides here? Mm -hmm. Oh, very little. I'm surprised. I would have expected a lot more. There's some spots here. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of surprised. I was expecting more. Oh, look at that, out of the letters, oh yeah. That was crazy, now. We are. Cool, you can agitate it if you want, but in this case, we're not. We're gonna be contact washing it in a moment anyway. Ready to foam? Ready to foam? Mm-hmm. Nice, thick soap. Awesome. Man, this stuff smells so good. Don't forget to foam your wheel bucket. That's nice and warm. That's, that's really bad. Oh, uh, I don't think this is gonna work. Nope. Nope. All right, let's switch over to the clay. And let's just see what we can remove. Oh yeah, oh, that's much better. We need something a little bit more aggressive. That will work. Oh, you can already tell. Yeah, you can already tell. Not bad, okay, good. Whoa, that's bad. But it is coming off. The more you 
rub over the surface, the more it shears off the paint. Whatever it is, is you really can't see too much of it. You can kind of see a little bit of it. But we don't know what it is. Owner doesn't know what it is. Oh, but that's so much better. Woo. Yep. This is gonna take some time, but doing it like this is speeding up the process because you don't have to wash it, rinse it, foam it up again, or use a clay lube. Just do this as you wash. So much easier. Especially for these types of really bad overspray jobs. Wow. Okay. We're gonna be polishing this anyway. I'm gonna do like an all-in-one polish. Any light marring that does happen from the clay will be polished out. Easy peasy, no problems. If we need to refoam it, we can. Or I do have the bottle of the Turtle Wax Pure Wash that's diluted in a, in a bottle so we can use it as a clay lube. That's another thing. You can just dilute some shampoo and use it as a clay lube. What's this? Uh, no, that is all-purpose cleaner. I'm going to use on the wheels. It seems to be on the top surfaces only. I'm not I'm not feeling it down below. So that's that's good. Can you see it? No, I can't it's see it. Like oh, brown. it is. Oh. oh yeah, oh I do see it here a little. It's really hard to pick up. I'm blind, you know. How blind are you? Pretty blind. <laughs> Pretty blind. Oh, what happened? Couldn't reach the middle of the roof? Why not? Too mean? No, it's not. <laughs> So this is just the Hybrid Solutions Pure Wash that I diluted in this. Used it on another job, but it's perfect for clay lube right now. Because we're going to rinse everything off anyway. I wouldn't necessarily use this as a clay lube uh, in general um, if you're not going to rinse it. But if you are, then it's totally fine. Nice thing about clay, you can get in between the letters as much as possible to get some of that nasty grime out. Man, this stuff is very slick. This pure shampoo is awesome. You want some? Wow, this is the worst. Yeah. You hear this? Yep, you hear this? Good thing we have some heavy duty clay, because... Oh, look at that, it looks like peanut butter smeared on it. Whoa. Here, go show the camera. Go show everybody how nasty the clay looks. Gross. This stuff is so slick, the clay bar wants to just fly right out of my hand. Nice and clean. Nice and smooth. Oh yeah. Pull that grime off that tire. That's nice. It's so nice. All 
right, the truck is cleaned. It's deconned. It's smooth. Oh, it's so nice. Much better. So all the tar is gone. Even inside here in the wheel wells, we, yeah, degreased, brushed everything down. It looks awesome. Okay, let's dry all the paint. Let's blow dry it. Then we'll pull it in and start polishing. Man, oh, it's so nice. I love that. So we have a new toy. Yeah. It's the handheld blow air dryer. It has two speeds. This thing is extremely powerful. Uh, it's actually just as powerful as our little Air Cannon Junior. And the cool thing about this, it's filtered. It heats the air. Yeah. This little guy, very, very useful for mobile detailers. So with the truck being clean now, we're going to hit all the trim first. So we're going to use a uh, spray trim product, you know, the Stoner's Trim Shine for all of the hard to reach areas, the cowl, the grill. We're going to put the Lithium Trim Shine or Trim Serum, Trim, that's really hard to say, Trim Serum, Trim Serum on all of the other plastic parts. But now, awesome, smooth, squeaky clean. All of the areas under here are clean. All the tar is removed. Carpeted wheel wells are looking pretty good. I'm not gonna go too crazy on these because it's a work truck, it's gonna get all nasty again, but the majority of the junk is gone. Yeah, that looks great. Look at all that, cleaned up really, really well. We still need to dry a little bit more. It's just so humid out. Things are taking a long time to dry, so the tires, we're not too worried about drying the tires completely because we're gonna pull it in and polish it, so it'll dry out eventually in there. But the worst of the areas to clay bar were the front area, the top, and the top portion of the sides here. It was really, really gritty, really bad, but now, awesome, nice and smooth. Did you reach all the way in the middle? Wow, that's impressive. Wifey is on to using the trim serum from Lithium on all of the, uh, the rest of the plastics. It is a very thick product also, very, very thick and greasy. So if you don't like those types of products, then you can use something else. But uh, I do like it though. I, I like the finish that it gives and it does restore plastics very, very well. So let's inspect the paint underneath the lights. Surprisingly, not bad. Could be hard paint, I don't know. That red clay usually would mar the paint like crazy, but hmm, not too bad at all. Maybe, uh, maybe it was the soap that really acted as a great lubricant and helped it not really mar, but I don't know. That's kind of not always the way it works. There's some areas that are worse than others, of course, but I'm very surprised. You can see some light marring here. That's from the clay or it could just be really hard to see because it's white. So let's do an all-in-one polish. It's not gonna be crazy paint enhancement or anything like that. 
Uh, so we're going to use the Technician's Choice Ceramic One-Step Polish. This stuff is extremely easy to use, can be used outdoors, in full sun. I have a couple of videos on that. I'll link them down below. It's really nice stuff to use. Wipes off very easy and can be used in conjunction with their coating here. Um, this stuff isn't a super long-lasting coating, maybe up to a year. So I would sell this at, you know, like a six to uh, six month or more coating or up to a year coating. I know six months for a coating doesn't seem like it's that great. There are sealants that can do that too. Uh, but, you know, with maintenance, you can use a Technician's Choice Detail Spray to maintain this and you just top it and you should be able to get a year out of it. But this stuff is very hydrophobic. Um, so, yeah, you can just top it right over. Uh, with this stuff without an IPA wipe down. They work in conjunction with one another. So that means this has, of course, ceramic in it. We're gonna use an orange Lake Country pad and let's see what we can get out of this paint. Before we do that, let's just take our hand light and look at it again. That way we can kind of see a, a nice before and after. So that's before. I'll change the different light modes here so you can see the difference. I like the mid-tones here. I think that's best. You can definitely see some marring there. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so since we're not doing full paint enhancement, this is what we're going for. Yeah, you can see some pretty, pretty bad swirls. They're pretty deep. Um, but the major, you know, imperfections like the marring, you see that? You see how you can see almost like an X, the uh, X and Y axis there of the light, it disappears, see? So that's what we're attacking. We're attacking the marring left over from the clay bar. Not necessarily all the swirls because that's not what this job is. Uh, is actually going for. So that's good. That's actually what we want. A few quick passes and it looks amazing. Not bad at all. This is going to be the nicest looking work truck of the fleet. It's looking really glossy. Oh yeah, look at that. Awesome. Super glossy, super slick. Mm. We're gonna finish it with this stuff, which is Technician's Choice 582. I always forget the numbers, but it's their detail spray. So the ceramic detail spray will be topped over this and it will be finished. What do you think of wifey's hair? Looking pretty awesome. Don't do sad face, do smiley face. No, that's creepy smiley face. No, that's really creepy smiley face. So we just applied the uh, Gion Q2 windshield sealant. It, it can be considered a coating as well, but it lasts about six months or so. So this is like a very quick, fast application. Now I like this application, this bottle. It's actually very easy to use. However, it leaks. So if it sits for too long of a time, it actually leaks on the top here. Like there's this little lip and it leaks there and it, it actually like wasted a lot of the product. So not sure what happened, if that's just a weird little defect on this one. Uh, let me know if you have one of these and it leaks like that, because I had to pour a bunch out, which kind of stinks. So I like this, but I don't know, maybe it was just mine. Let me know if anyone else has come across um, theirs leaking like that. But I do like the application, so we'll let that sit for about five minutes and then we'll use a wet towel and then a dry towel to remove the product. All right, and wifey's on the tires and wheels. She's using Meguiar's hyperdressing and uh, the brush 
to apply the dressing onto the tires. Compared to what it was, oh yeah, looks so much better. So yeah, we got rid of the marring that was there before. It's just the heavy swirls that are already there. All of the bottom portions that were all nasty and muddy and full of tar, cleaned up. Wheel wells are looking pretty decent. Don't look too close because they're, you know, got some pretty nasty stuff still attached and you know, it's, it's a work truck, so we're not going to be going crazy under there, but it does look nice and clean. Wheels are nothing fancy, but they're nice and clean and sealed in as well. Trim back here is looking good. Chrome is polished with the Renegade Pipe Dream. That stuff is amazing. Love it. I think the customer will be very happy with the outcome. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's episode and today's job. We're done for the day. Love having jobs like this. They come in in the morning, a few hours, and we're done. So is it even noon yet? Oh, yeah, it is noon right now, about three hours or so. That's with two people, so about six man hours. If you're trying to figure out you know, how we do jobs like this and the time frame, jobs like this usually take us about three hours. If it's a, a true paint enhancement, you're looking at more like four to five hours. If it's a, a paint coating, you know, a new car prep where we polish and then ceramic coat, five to six hours respectively. So again, with two people, we're both polishing, we're both doing um, you know, all the different jobs uh, we're both doing all the different things on the vehicle so we can get things done twice as fast. If we're doing it by ourselves, you know, if it was just one of us, then yeah, it could be going into 8, 10, 12 hours. So it could actually take two days uh, to do. I'm trying to split it up into two days. Doing it all in one day can be really tiring. Sometimes, you know, you can do it if you just kind of work through the night. But pace yourself. Pace yourself and don't burn out. Detailing is very... Uh, hard physical work and it's kind of mental work as well and I guess sometimes emotional work so pace yourself if you're doing this by yourself if you have a partner who is amazing like wifey back there then you can get these jobs done much quicker that's the benefit of our business here we've been doing this for 12 years together so we have speed we have efficiency we both can fly through these jobs very quickly while still getting quality work getting it up to our standards, not anyone else's standards, our standards. So if you're interested in any of the products or the tools, check out the links down below. If you have any questions, feel free to comment and ask any questions that you want. Um, and if you are curious about training, we do training. So the detailing workshop is our training course. So you can actually come here for a day or two and get hands-on training or if you want to do more of a classroom setting, then we can do the training up in Pennsylvania at Total Detailing uh, at Gabe's shop. Look out for, what, what, are, what are you doing? Oops. Trying to make a video here, I'm almost done. So if you're interested in the training, then check out the links to, uh, below, go to thedetailingworkshop.com. Thank you guys for joining us. Have a great week, take care. So noisy.